This is the story of the very first Christmas when a very special baby was born. You've probably heard of him. He is called Jesus and he is the Son of God. I am his mother Mary and I am married to Joseph. <coughs> You've probably heard of me too. I'm Joseph. You've probably not heard of Grumble, for here he is, Grumble the donkey. Grumble, Grumble, Grumble. Grumble the donkey was very grumpy and liked nothing better than to grumble. grumble. He is grumpy ears, a grumpy nose and grumpy hooves. In fact, he is a whole bundle of grumbles. That day, however, he had much more to grumble about than you. Caesar had called for a census and everyone had to travel to the place of their birth to be counted. Because I say so. <laughs> for Mary and Joseph, that meant travelling all the way to Bethlehem. It was a really long and difficult journey, especially for Mary, who was about to have a baby. Luckily, they had a donkey. Yes, that's right. Guess who had to carry Mary all the way? Not truly. It was enough to make even the cheeriest donkey cross. Not a grumble! Mary was exhausted. She knew her baby was going to be born soon. They needed to find somewhere to stay as quickly as possible. Do you have any work No way!
Raul did like the sound of this. Stables were for animals like him. The last thing he wanted was humans in the nice quiet stable. And as for a cry baby, that sounds like a whole bundle of trouble. <laughs> Outside, where he could wind your to himself in peace. Very satisfying. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Night in a humble little stable in Bethlehem, the son of God was born, Jesus our Saviour. Meanwhile, in the hills above Bethlehem, some shepherds watched over their flock of sheep. You might have heard of us too. The sheep were being very naughty. Being naughty is one of the things that sheep are very good at, along with le leaping over fences and knitting. I'm a fluffy bundle of mischief. I'm a fluffy bundle of mischief. I'm a fluffy bundle of mischief. I'm a fluffy bundle of deba. Me. Together we, we are not naughty. Action. It was bedtime and they really didn't want to go to sleep. The shepherds were terrified and fell to the ground, covering their eyes, wondering what was going to happen. Don't be scared, you're a virgin. me no harm. Angels, take out any ring and someone ticked on. Anyway, the angel Gabriel had appeared. He was God's messenger and had important news for them. I bring you great times and great joy. A king is born tonight. Jesus, the son of God. <laughs> Okay. 
wanted to see the newborn king, but they were only humble shepherds. And the little stable came Me too. My toes trembling. They decided that they wanted to take a gift to the newborn king. But they're only poor shepherds. What could they possibly give him? The shepherds went to Bethlehem in search of the stable. When they found it, the shepherds were nervous all over again. Where will the baby land up? Mum and donkey was cross by snoozing rudely interrupted. After his long journey, he was tired all over. His ears were tired, his nose was tired, and his hooves were tired. He was still a bundle of grumbles. Please don't disturb my snooze. Travelling across the desert came three people who were far from poor and humble. There's a good chance you've heard of them too. They were very wise kings and had been following a star from the east for a long time. I know, what's the star? I know lots of stuff about the sister. They are very good kings. The star the kings were following was very big. They knew that it would lead them all the way to the special baby, the son of God. Follow me. Surely the baby won't be born in the stable. Suddenly, they found themselves full of doubt. And kings, probably because they are very important, are not used to feeling doubtful. You should know your king. I'm the king, you're the king. Grumble the donkey scowled at this next set of visitors to disturb his snoop. Ha ha, who are you? We are very important kings. Wait, 
do you say, baby? The kings look at, looked at each other in astonishment. It was most quite unexpected and yet also rather wonderful. Nobody knew quite what to do. Finally, Grumble had enough. That's it, all going together. Great idea. The stain was peaceful and bathed in the warm glow of love, which came from a tiny little baby snoozing in the manger. In their hearts, they all knew that Jesus was a very special baby. The kings and shepherds suddenly realised that they had no worry or doubt left in their hearts. Doubt! Right. 